Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Little. In this video, we are going to learn how to interact with multiple elements and also we are going to learn uh, one of the weight strategy. Okay, weight for an element strategy. So the test case scenario is very simple. Here we have a website called litcode.in slash elements. So basically I'm going to enter my username Ottoni Casey and I'm going to click on this search. As soon as I click, you can see like um, basically it loads this first section and then it loads the second section where I have like all the repository URL. Okay. So we are just going to grab all these URLs and we are going to print it out. That's it. Very simple thing. Okay. So if I go to my editor here, you can see like already we have the boilerplate code along with that. I have this like is dot get by placeholder enter your so if you if you go and see here it's basically enter your get username example something right so enter your of course get by works based on the partial as well so we have learned all those already in detail i hope you remember that and then we have this id equal to search so i'm just going to click on this button right so what will happen in the sense like once i enter my data and if i click on the search here you can see like this guy first loads this is the like profile section and this is the uh, url section repository section so i'm going to inspect and find all the links so here you can see like we have this a tag which is inside li and which is inside of ol okay so it's going to be very simple i can go with the ordered list and then followed by the list and then followed by the anchor tag so here you can see like we got all the 30 url so we're going to grab the text from text in the sense like of course you see the a tag opens here and the a tag close here in between we have this particular some repository url right so we are just going to print it out so to print of course we know the function like text content but how to find multiple elements in play right is very same so if i say like paste dot locator and the locator value this is going to return me all the links okay so in selenium we have like find element and find elements but in play right by default the locator or even the get by placeholder whatever the locator strategy we have learned so far it's going to return the multiple elements but we also know that when we try to do some interaction if the locator is duplicate or multiple playwright will throw us an error called stick mode violation but how to prevent that let's learn in this video so basically i can say like links dot count that's going to return me the number of elements i have so here i can do the sys out like i can say like count and then i can give my variable name that is count okay sorry if you are getting some background noise okay now let's go and run this let's see what happens okay so i'm just going to execute and let's see okay. so here you can see like we got the count as zero but why we know that our locator is correct and there is of course no error but why we got this as zero because if you see the website once we click on the once we give the data here let's say attorney casey and I'm going to click on the search. If you watch carefully, it basically loads up this particular section and then followed by this particular section. Okay, so there is a delay about like few milliseconds. Okay, not even seconds, few milliseconds. But we know that Playwright can handle handle the uh, weights automatically. So why doesn't it work? See, when there is a locator and the locator state is like attached or detached then probably playwright can handle it but these are like dynamic in the case of dynamic we have to make sure like hey you wait for some times my locator will appear then you do whatever you want so for that we have the function called wait for yeah the function name itself is wait for so here i can say like links dot wait for okay so this is kind of like your explicit weight in selenium okay now if i go and run this again i will end up with an exception the exception is going to be like stick mode violation error the reason is we know that playwright always wants the locator to be like unique but if there is multiple elements it will throw us the error so here you can see like um 
we got like seed mode violation and this guy resolved to 30 elements okay so how to handle it very simple i can say like link dot first or the last based on that like last in the sense like of course it's going to return me one element and we'll wait for that particular element now if i go and run this it will work so what is the concept of last in the sense like it will wait for 30 seconds to like load all the elements once the all the elements are loaded it will just return us that particular element okay so here you can see like we got this 30. now ecoshik you are using wait for but what does this really do if you ask me so wait for you can see like it will just wait for a particular state of an element so but here we didn't give any of the state right so if you want to give the state state in the sense like uh, like how the element is going to be behave okay so here i can say like new locator dot wait for option and here i have two functions one is the set state where i have to say like wait for state select a state and then i can say like attached detached hidden or visible or visible so in this case i'm going to say like attached because i want that to be attached or also i can use the visible also that should also work fine okay and by default it will wait for like 30 seconds if you want to change the timeout you can say like set timeout and you can give like let's say i'm going to give like 20 uh, seconds i can change this in okay so by default it's a this in the milliseconds so you have to give like 20,000 which is 20 seconds okay now if i go and run this of course it's going to work fine so you can have like attached detached the attached is like uh, invisible and attached is like adding something to the dom okay sorry hidden is invisible and detached in the sense like like something is going from your dom okay now i want to print all the links from here right so what we'll do we'll just simply use a for loop and we already know the length that's going to be my count variable and here i'm going to say like links dot nth of already we have discussed about the nth so it's basically going to target on the index and then i can use the function called text content which will return me the text over there so i can just this out and i can select text content now if i go and run this so here you can say like we got all the things okay uh, hey Kaushik, but you are just doing the print how this is going to help me in real time in the sense like um, in my project i have a drop down like where if i select a drop down value based on that number of text boxes are going to generate for example if i select one value there will be like two or three text box if i select another value there will be like 10 or 15 uh, text boxes so i have to find number of text boxes are there and then i have to pass some random test data okay so in that scenario i use this like find element strategy i just use the loop and i just pass like random test data using uh, some string java string random function okay so yeah i do javascript i mean not javascript typescript with playwright in my project okay and we have a one assignment it's very simple just you have to go to like um, google.com and then you have to enter your name so i will just go with like kaushik and here you can see like we have around uh 48 of kaushik so you have to just print the count or also you can grab the text and you can print but the catch here is in some places you can see like it is k is uppercase and some places k is lower case the starting kaushik k so you have to grab both the case like uppercase or lower case you have to grab it okay I hope you will be able to solve it or else do let me know in the comments i'll be happy to give you the solution so that's it for my side thanks for watching see you in the next one i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'ma just keep buying everything see you in the next life have to be a better me i don't think that my head's on straight gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray
what's wrong with me, I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it's squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate